Y'all sing this song with me. Send down your rain, Lord. Send down your rain. What do we need? We need your laughter. Legalist. 
It's obeying the word of God. If you be willing and obedient, a lot of things will come our way in the process of time if we just learn to obey God. Oh my gosh, y'all, let me, I, how many of my other devil mortar elect lady Jones cooked me breakfast? And you know, I, I don't even like breakfast that much, but she cooked it and brought it to me. And every now and then I get, get breakfast, I eat it, I thank God for it. But she brought it to me in bed because I was tired and I was exhausted. Something came up out during the night and I was tired, I was exhausted. And she brought the breakfast to me in bed. She brought it to me with a chill attitude. She didn't come down mad, knocking stuff around the kitchen, fixing me breakfast. Oh, praise God, you can fix your husband breakfast with an attitude. And my goodness, he don't want that. She brought it to me. I ain't had nothing else. She brought it to me. Amen? Yeah. So you got to understand the same as with God. Sometimes you got to serve God not because the word that says, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Now, I love the Lord. It's not a trial for me to serve God. And what I have to sacrifice for God it is the will of God. I do it cheerfully. Amen. We got to learn how to sacrifice unto God cheerfully. Somebody while I'm teaching y'all how to live holy, while I'm teaching y'all how to be baptized in Jesus' name, while I'm teaching you the wonders of God, when I teach you how to consecrate, sanctification, all of that, I got to teach you how to be a willful gift unto God. I'm not a good pastor. I have to teach you if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good. Man. Somebody blessed is going to be held up because they're not willing to give unto God. And y'all, I say this carefully. Some of y'all give tithes and offerings, and I'm not, it's not about the money, saints. Can I be real? But that comes a time in your life when you gotta make sacrifice. Forget the money. Let's talk about something else. There's sacrifices in our own personal life. You gotta tell this body, some things you can't have because I'm sacrificing this under God. You need to tell that man, no, you can't get with me because I'm keeping myself holy unto God. <laughs> but we don't want to sacrifice good things like that. Let's go to the Word of God. Let's go to the Word of God. Exodus chapter 35 and verse number 5. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the man. You got to be willing, praise God. Let's go to the Word of God. How many of y'all, y'all ever met a man that's going to work for his wife and stuff, but he do it grudgingly? He don't want to go to that job. He hates working. She don't want to go to that job she hates, but they do it grudgingly. They mumble, they complain, they grumble about it, but it's a blessing when the wife is sitting next to him. He just get up and go out there for me. He go out in the cold for me. He do it cheerfully for me. I ain't got a bag in the door. He's just going to do it because he loves me. As in the natural soul in the spiritual realm. It should be a task for us to come to church. Two services a week. Wait a minute. Y'all looking at me like I'm the head Two services a week. And we got, I got to press my way to get to the, baby, I ain't got to press my way nowhere. The devil may slow me down, but I'm making it to the house of God. If I'm 5, 10, 15 minutes late, I'm coming busting up into the door. If I got the strength. And I do it willfully. Cheerfully and willfully. Amen? Exodus chapter 35 and verse number 21. Are we there yet? And they and they came, everyone. Oh, let, let me back up just a little bit. Verse 20. And all the congregation of Israel, of the children of Israel, departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up. And everyone whom his spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord offering to the work of the tabernacle congregation and for all his servants and for the holy garment. Amen. Amen. They done it willfully. We look, this is the time and season during Christmas. Hanukkah, what they other one, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. This is the time you where people give. And why are you giving? Call by all means you want to buy, give somebody to do that, do that. Ain't nothing wrong with giving gifts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't forget the house of God. Don't forget the house of God. God intended for the house of God to be a storehouse. So if somebody come and they got a need, that's supposed to be substance in the house of God for the people. Amen. So don't forget to the house. Don't forget to give your local ministry. Amen. Let's go to y'all looking at me like that. It's the truth anyway. Let's drop down to verse number. Praise the Lord. Let's drop down to verse. Let's go back to verse five. Dealing with 